Last week, I bought this phone off of eBay for about 70 pounds. It is a Google Pixel 3a and my plan for it was to install Linux on it. And today, after I spent a few hours on it and just had a look around, played around with the console or the terminal, however you want to call it, uh, I decided to film a video and show you the installation process and actually some of the features on the phone because I think it's really interesting. The UI is very intuitive. Obviously, it's not going to have a lot of apps for it because the it's a Linux phone and you need developers for that and you also need a user base for them to use the actual apps. But without further ado, let's see what it's like. So the reason why I chose this phone was because it is fully supported by Ubuntu Touch. So everything works, the fingerprint works, the camera works. Basically, you won't encounter any software issues as far as I know. If I just put my finger on the fingerprint here, it'll unlock it. Otherwise, I'll have to input a passcode. Um, this is the interface right here. You uh, either click on here to open the apps or you can slowly drag it out. It, it, it works both ways. It's got all the basics you need in a phone, obviously contacts, you know, clock, camera. You've got a barcode reader. It's not the greatest barcode reader to be fair. This is how you close apps, by the way. You just drag and then they'll pop up like this and you swipe up and you close it. I don't know if it works to swipe down as well. I haven't tried, to be honest. Yeah, it's got the usual stuff. Phone, keyboard, you can press, enter a number and call, you know, the Indian customer support. Um, media player. I don't have any videos at the moment. Um, so I can't really show you. I can record something real quick, I suppose. The UI is very minimal. That's why I noticed. For example, if you go to camera, you just get this. It's got auto rotate, so that's good. Uh, it's got some settings here, I suppose. 8.3. I think this is a 12 megapixel camera. Yeah, you can switch it to 4.3. Yeah, the... I think the camera app itself is not the best in the world. Um, let's switch back to 16 by 9. Uh, it's got a selfie cam as well. Obviously, that's everything with a phone. It works. I can take a photo. And then, oh, let me take a photo of myself. <laughs> and then if you drag here, it should, wait, hold on, probably the auto rotate oh no i did it too quick wait hold on how did you was it from the right i'm having issues now but you can open the oh yeah there you go you can open the preview by dragging from the right you just have to do it really slowly <laughs> uh yeah and you can cycle through the photos this is a photo i did earlier obviously you can tell that i like doing my duck faces um this is a photo i took outside yeah, the camera the camera works. It's the camera from the phone itself. So the Google Pixel camera is actually pretty good. This one's got stabilization apparently. Yeah, it's got notes. I tried to do a HTML document because I thought you can make, like basically you can make it work like a notepad on Windows, but I don't think that's the case. The, there's probably a way to make HTML files on, on the phone. I just don't know about it yet because I haven't spent that much time with it. It's got a file manager. Um, yeah, it's got restricted access. And that's, that, that, that's a funny uh, story about that. So the only thing that's on restricted access right now is a folder that I've made by using the terminal. Let me just... Oh yeah, this is the top bar right here. I've got any notifications, which I don't have any. Let me lock the rotation because I want to put it on the desk. I've got your keyboard. I don't know why there's a keyboard set in there, but it might be useful. Location, I've got your Bluetooth, your network, sound, you can do battery. Oh, you can change the 
brightness. You can adjust it automatically, but you know, I want my battery to last. So yeah, time and date and then system. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's an interesting top down menu to be fair. It's not as bloated as Android phones. That's pretty cool. Yeah. What else can I show you on this phone? Um, yeah, the navigation. I don't think the navigation is the greatest in the world when it comes to like arrows and stuff. And I don't think it uh, supports gestures. So I think that's a bit out of the question. Um, what else? There's a uh, an app store. It's called Open Store. People upload their uh, apps here. There's a Node.js app. I'm not sure what it does yet, but I kind of want to try it after this video. There's a YouTube. Okay, there's a YouTube Music app, but is it actually? It's not made by by YouTube now, is it? It's by some guy who's doing some some Linux wizardry. Um, yeah. There's a there's a app for quitting smoking, I suppose. A lot of you know Linux user are, users are doomers, so they smoke a lot. I haven't used the clock. I haven't tried to set an alarm. So uh, allow, yeah, I suppose. Let me see if I can. Well, you know, we've got your stopwatch. Stop. That was a full second. Please set a time. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Um, well, the coolest thing I wanted to show you is this right here. Oh my God. One second, I have to input my password. So I think the reason why everything is, is protected is because, you know, you have to input a password when you go into the terminal. So everything that you create here, yeah. Will, uh, will be password protected. But yeah, you can do a little simple echo command. Hello world, because that's tradition with anything related to computing. Um, what else? Let's see. We are LS. These are the directories that we have in this PH Fablet, I think that's what what they called it. Fablet, phone tablet. I think that's what it comes from. Let's go to how do you go to stuff again? I think CD uh, pictures. Was that it? Yeah, that's not such file directory. There is. I can see it right there. Maybe because I didn't do it. Oh, let's CD. Web. Nice. And now, I don't know how to go back, so um, that, that that is my extent of knowledge. The extent of the knowledge that I have about the terminal. Yeah, you have, you know, your normal phone keyboard. I don't know why it's still up there, but that's Android does that all the time. We've got a browser called Morph Browser. It opened up with Google. I think that's because it's the last thing I opened. I want to try and see if I let's search something cat videos, not cat.com. I hate the, the fact that they made a dot com um, designated button on keyboards. I'm not about that life. I like typing my everything. Uh, videos duck duck go go there we go and now you get cat videos from duck duck go go yeah i have not tried to play anything from it yet oh my god all right accept leave me alone looks normal yeah yeah it's it, it's definitely worth looking into it and using it a bit more obviously a day is not gonna you know 
do much for you, especially when you have a full-time job like some other losers. Um, but yeah, it, it was it was a nice project. I am happy that I, I did it and I will hopefully use it more in the future. I'm thinking about doing sort of like a 30 day challenge or something where I just use this phone or um, at least I use it more. I use it every day and like I actually use it. The, the, the one thing I want to learn is use the terminal properly to see if you can actually use it as the terminal on the computer and, and see what it can do. I'm hoping maybe maybe you could even try and, and program, like do a little bit of at least JavaScript on here, but I don't know. We'll see.